More Adraniacs. You're next. Just give me a second. I'll explain what's up. So, if you've started trying to figure out your training zones, what your low heart rate training should be, what your high power should be, you might be hearing, well, you've got to use the Maffetone method or you've got to use an FTP test. And then you hear me talking about how important it is to train in your proper zones. But then you also hear me and a lot of studies that say that the Maffetone method is inaccurate, that it's off by as much as five to 10 beats per minute, or that an FTP test is off by as much as 20%. So how then do you figure out accurate zones without spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars and trying to get into a lab wearing a snorkel. Well, I just turned myself inside out for a test that reports to be as accurate as lab testing, if not more. I suffer for you. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna explain how that test works, how you can do it, and then we're gonna see just how accurate it is when we compare it to my lab testing. I almost threw up there three times. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Let me start off by giving you the protocol of what this is. This is the inside test that you do at home. All you need is a power meter and heart rate and you do this test send it away to them and it saves you from having to go into a lab and hopefully reportedly they get as accurate if not more accurate training zones than going into a lab what it is is a 15 minute warm-up and in those 15 minutes you do two five to ten second builds with high power high, high cadence then you do a 20 second max effort has to be seated. Then you do eight minutes of easy, has to be continuous pedaling at around one half of your FTP. Then a four minute max effort has to be seated. Key to it is not peaking at the end. It's okay to go out too hard and then slowly trickle off, but you don't wanna surge at the end. Then 15 minutes easy, has to be continuous pedaling at half your FTP. Then two and a half minutes, max, same thing. No peak at the end, but it's okay to go out too hard and then try to hang on. 10 minutes easy at half your FTP. Then 12 minutes, max effort again. No peak at the end, but it's okay to go too hard at the start and then pet her out. And then a 15 minute cool down. There are some things that you gotta get right to make sure the test is valid. I have this on Zwift as you can see, but it's not actually the Zwift file that they need. I was really just using Zwift as a display where I actually recorded the session was on a head unit and I made sure that the bike computer or watch or whatever it is was paired to my heart rate monitor and a separate set of power pedals, not the controllable Wahoo kicker that I'm using. So that is going to give you an actual fit file that you have to then send to Insight. Now to set this up right, if you're putting Zwift in front of you to keep your mind off the hurt, you want a very flat Zwift course and you want it to all be seated. So what I did was I chose the Watopia Fuego flats and I just did circles of that. Before you do this, you also wanna calibrate your power meter so that you're getting the most accurate data that you can. And you wanna be basically well primed up for this. I did this even though I practice a low carb approach to training, I had carbs before this. I had a UCAN bar right before taking the test and I used the S Fuels race solution in here that has carbs in it. So I wanna have like max peak efforts and I wanna be able to get all of the data with this. So that's what you do. 
Now, let's chat with Inside about how this actually works and we'll see how accurate it was. I tell you this, it sucked. So here we are, we have the results across the top. You can see we have seven different tabs, body comp all the way to training zones. What we'll do is go through each one of these. Knowing your VLA max helps you understand what type of athlete you are. So somebody that has a very low VLA max is going to be more of the slow twitch type of athlete. Long steady state efforts are going to be more of their forte. Somebody that has a very high VLA max, that's somebody that's able to put out a really high wattage and a short sprint effort. So they're much more anaerobic. Or just generically speaking, if I'm going to go out there and do a VO2 max interval, what's the effort or the intensity that I'm going to be going about it at, and what does my recovery look like? So for you, we know now, based on your training zones, if I skip ahead a little bit, we can see your aerobic maximum or your VO2 max number is going to be 342 watts. Okay? So if we come back and we say, all right, parents need to go out and do VO2 max work at 340 watts, I can now start to see what your lactate production and combustion rates are. So a lot of times as a coach, you're going to say, hey, go out there and do three minutes on, three minutes off. Because you're doing the three-minute interval, your recovery is going to be the same time. And there's not too much thought given to what is the intensity of the recovery and even why we're doing three minutes. So, so all right, training acts. Oh. I feel like a little kid at the kids' table. It's been a few weeks now, actually, since I did that test. I had a number of questions about the test. I had a number of questions about the results because it seems fairly, um, almost too good to be true that you can do a test just on your trainer here by yourself, unsupervised, and have results that are as accurate, if not more, than the hundred, several hundred dollar lab supervised test with a bunch of people in lab coats around you. And what happened in that call with Greg from Insight is that on the surface, a lot of the results that they gave sent up red flags. I was like, huh, maybe this isn't actually as good as it seems. So I had to think a lot about it and I had to review the data that we had from my lab test last November, basically as I started serious training and compare it to now after three, four months of really good training. I actually just now got off the phone with Greg and Sebastian Weber, the head sports scientist of Inside, the founder, and going through the data and he started calculating, all right, here's what you did in November in the lab, here's what you did in our test. And we started back testing all of the intervals that I've done when I would do like 30 second on, 30 second off workouts and four minute workouts and five minute workouts. And we started looking at like, how did it feel? And we actually figured out that the inside test is tremendously accurate. And if anything, the lab test that we had back in November was off. And that's all part of the problem here, that when I talked to my coach, Dr. Dan Plews, who is the one that wants me to get into the lab, he says, well, the problem with all these tests is that they're all wrong. FTP test, the Maffetone method test, the percentage of heart rates, even getting into a lab with the snorkel, the inside test, they're all somewhat wrong in some way. But the question is, are we able to pull out data that we can use? And that's the big question. And the question that was just answered for me on the call with Inside is that, yes, this is absolutely data that you can use, but what it doesn't give you is a sports scientist in a box. If what you're expecting to do is do this test and have boom exactly how to create a training plan, you aren't gonna get that. So what you're gonna get is the ability to understand at a certain effort level, how much lactate and how much essentially fatigue are you accumulating? And how long is it gonna take for you to flush that out? And 
how hard can you push it? How deep can you go before essentially you max out and you need a bigger rest or you need a rest the next day? You start getting actual metrics of how hard is hard enough, how easy is the proper amount of easy, and it starts giving you really good training zones that are much more accurate than just some calculator that you've got online. My calculator, I admit that it's not as accurate as I would like it to be, but this is really quite accurate. Now, it doesn't mean that everyone has to now go and do this test. The guidelines that I give about how to train with zones with as little as a heart rate monitor, they still apply. But if you want to take the next step and you want to know exactly how many watts you specifically need for your individual physiology, what exact heart rate you need to be at, this is a way to start getting it closer and closer and closer. And what I think we're gonna do on Team Trainiac is allow athletes to perform an inside test, get their training zones, and then have those zones port over to the app. And what I think we're gonna do on teamtrainiac.com and in that app is for the athletes that want to get down to like that last one to 2% accuracy level to know exactly how many watts for exactly how many seconds, which can be beneficial for the more advanced athletes, but I would say isn't necessary for most athletes. But for those athletes that want that, we are then going to build that in. So if that's the kind of athlete that you are, that you want to get into a lab, but you don't have access to a lab, you don't know how to interpret the data from a lab, this is a way that you can do it. With a caveat, you still have to know how to create a training plan. Just knowing your zones isn't going to tell you how long an interval should be, when to do long intervals, when to do short intervals, how to manage a weekly amount of fatigue, how to manage a yearly amount of fatigue. You still need some sort of a training plan. So whether that's a coach who understands all of that, whether that's Team Trainiac that has that overall load management built in for you, you have to have someone that understands how to create the training plan because just knowing your zones isn't a training plan. The training plan that is properly designed is always going to trump proper bang on to the last percentage point zones. The last percentage point zones is just the icing on the cake to essentially like know yourself if you are training properly, if your zones are accurate, have some confidence that what you're doing is correct. So final question of what is my review of the inside test? Well, A, it's really hard. Make sure that you are well rested coming into it and you don't have anything key in the days coming after. Two, make sure that you have a way to actually translate the results that you have into a proper training plan. Just getting these results, it's not gonna be a magic bullet whatsoever, but you can take them and translate it into a training plan, but you need to know really what you're doing. I needed some coaching to understand how to take this information. It's not super simple, but if it was all simple, would coaches even exist? But the final piece is, is it accurate? I mean, as far as what I can tell and what we went over today, I would say, yeah, it's probably going to get you as close to what your zones are going to be as getting into a lab is. And that is a very, very powerful thing. So good on you, Insight. I know it was several weeks ago that I did that, but I remember how much that hurt over there. That, that left a mark on my soul. So with that said, Trainiacs, um, if none of you have ever tried out teamtrainiac.com, Go and check it out. There's a 14 day free trial that you can check it out. It's getting better and better by the month. We have a team of Ukrainian developers that are constantly tweaking it. We're constantly improving the workouts with the help of Dr. Dan Plews and Dr. Paul Larson and with the input of Inside and all these things that we're learning. We're trying to translate all of that really sophisticated, proper training science into something that's easily accessible for the average athlete. So if you haven't checked it out yet, or you checked it out a long time ago, and you're like, eh, this seems a little new, it's a lot better now, it's constantly improving, teamtrainiac.com, kick around, see if you like it. I'm digging it. Lots and lots of good stuff. And if you aren't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button below. Later, Trainiacs.